process of mapping the MatchTech network is scalable for any facility, from a one data logger setup to dozens. Before diving into the five-step process, users should first determine critical control point locations where loggers will be deployed for monitoring. Then, we'll select a central location for the RFC 1000 cloud relay that is situated to provide minimally obstructed paths for the wireless communication to RFC 1000 repeaters and data loggers. It's also possible for multiple cloud relays to be claimed to one MatchTech cloud account, allowing for multiple monitoring locations or multiple areas at a single location. If using multiple cloud relays, the following steps can be repeated for each relay. First, determine a central position for the RFC 1000 cloud relay. Be sure to mount or place the device in an area with access to both power and direct internet access. Plug the cloud relay into a power source, then connect the device to the internet with an ethernet cable. Once connected, navigate to cloud.magtech.com and sign in. Click the menu icon in the top left of the screen to access the directory, and then click Manage Relays. Now click the Claim a Relay button. This will produce a prompt, which will ask for the Cloud Relay serial number and claim key, both of which can be found on the device's label. Type in both codes, then click the Claim button. Once claimed, the relay will now appear in the My Relays list. Collect all the data loggers that are intended to be connected to the MatchTech Cloud account and begin the activation process within the near vicinity of the Cloud Relay. For our 2000A series of data loggers, press the wireless button on the device and hold down for approximately 3 seconds until the logger emits a sound. The LCD should state that wireless mode is on. For RFOT users, the latest generation models are automatically operating in wireless mode, unless connected to a USB. For all other wireless devices, locate the wireless switch and flip it on. Once all data loggers are in wireless mode, refer back to the web application at cloud.magtech.com and navigate back to the Manage Relays page if it's not still open. From this page, select the new relay. The claimed and unclaimed lists on this page will begin to populate with active data loggers within range. Expand the unclaimed loggers list. Click Claim on the devices intended for cloud monitoring. The claimed data loggers are now connected to this relay. Now it's time to deploy the data loggers in the desired critical control point locations. Once all data loggers have been deployed, check the quality of connection between the devices on the network. To do this, once again reference the Manage Relays page within the MatchTech Cloud web application. And within this page, expand the list for loggers claimed by this relay. Here, a signal strength indicator will be shown for each device. If all signal strength indicators are green, the network is complete. If any loggers indicate a poor connection, move on to step 4. In this step, we'll be deploying additional RFC 1000 transceivers to function as repeaters to bridge the gap between the poorly connected devices and the cloud relay. Alternatively, additional cloud relays can be used for remote areas or if using repeaters isn't feasible. Before we place our RFC 1000 wireless repeaters, let's go over a few optimization tips. First, avoid mounting the repeater directly next to sources of wireless interference, such as other wireless devices or microwaves. Secondly, it's preferable to mount the device to sheetrock, wood, or plastic when possible, and avoid mounting directly to metal surfaces, as this will dampen the signal. Also consider the path the wireless signal will pass through to reach the loggers. Efforts should be made to choose locations that will have few obstructions, and achieve as close to a line-of-sight setup as possible. Changing the location of a logger or antenna by several feet may significantly affect the signal strength depending on the obstacles in the signal's path. Another important note is that the antennas on the RFC 1000 cloud relays and RFC 1000 repeaters should be positioned in a vertical orientation, regardless of the orientation of the body. Data loggers also communicate best when positioned in a vertical orientation. With all these optimization tips in mind, physically locate the remaining data loggers with poor connection. 
One or more additional RFC 1000 repeaters can be deployed between the cloud relay and that logger to improve connection. It's important to note that RFC 1000s produce a stronger signal than that of data loggers, so the ideal placement won't necessarily be halfway, but instead closer to the logger, approximately two-thirds the distance between the device and the next closest repeater or cloud relay. Another important note is that multiple data loggers may communicate with a single transceiver, so if there are two or more data loggers in proximity, determine a central position between all loggers in that area and the relay. Once a position for the transceiver has been chosen, plug the device in using the included AC adapter or another USB power source, again remembering to position the antenna straight up. Once transceivers have been placed, we now need to ensure the loggers are communicating with them. A logger will only connect to a new RFC 1000 or cloud relay after losing connection. If new repeaters or relays have been added to the network, turn off wireless mode on your data logger, wait 30 seconds, and then turn it back on. The logger should now connect to the new repeater or relay with the best signal. To confirm efforts were successful, reference the MatchTech Cloud web application once more and view the signal strength indicator shortly after toggling wireless mode back on. Depending on the size and construction of the facility, more transceivers may be needed to achieve best results. To begin collecting data, we'll now start the loggers. Within the web application, each logger has a settings page which can be accessed by either clicking the name of the logger on the summary screen or by navigating to the logger settings page from the directory menu and selecting the desired logger from the list. From the logger settings page, the name or device ID can be changed for ease of data identification. Devices can also be added to created groups for organizational purposes. The number of readings shown on the graph can also be edited. Once happy with these settings, click the Start button to select the reading interval and begin recording. Shortly after starting the logger, the graph located on the summary page will begin to populate. Repeat this process to start the other loggers within the network. The real-time data can now be monitored from anywhere in the world from any internet-enabled device from cloud.magtech.com.